just once. That's all I want. A moon without any danger. No zombies, no raiders, no anomalies, and nothing we ran into on Nar Shaddaa. Is that so much to ask? So next, maybe... And if you go, drinks are on me! <laughs> uh, actually, uh, forget that last bit. You give that old tech Cal found in the lab a look? Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe we'll put some pieces together after we check out Dagon's retreat on Kobo. People go to Kobo after things fall apart, not to put things back together. You seem pretty put together, Grease. But don't you have a silver tongue? Maybe I'll let you take the manis for a swing sometime. Really? On second thought, no. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. I'm good, Cal. Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Look after him out there, BD. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. Then I caught sight of the most pathetic bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of Clumsy Rumsy. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsy was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. Eh. Something you need? Hey, little guy. But that mogu you took out had quite the stench. Ugh, quite. Range with your nose, my mama always said. We once had a feral canifant terrorizing the ranch. Just a menace. Destroyed our barn. Twice. Canifants cover their own tracks, see? Crafty buggers. Practically impossible to find. So how'd you track it? We reversed our vaporators, pumped the air full of moisture. When it's humid, Smells get a lot, um, 
Well, more pungent. Was long before we caught the scent. Clever. Ain't it? We all got five senses, Cal. I figure we might as well use them. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Hey, got a sec? Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. Don't have too many people like that in my life. Well, that probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? When Kobo's moon was shattered, the Republic settlement collapsed, leaving those spires. That place isn't just an old ruin. It's a tomb. It might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, and now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed. But I don't hate it. Ha! Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. The sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. Hey, sport, can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! I'm sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <laughs> Come on, BD. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or imprisoned. What the car, Grok? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. How you doing? Hmm. Go back. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Tulakt excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays, and is always in short supply. Sojourner, you smell of smoke, 
and sand. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. Now that looks like a stage. Oh, hey! It's you! I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal. Also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the Mid-Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Some other time, okay? Strangest thing. I was enjoying a lively constitutional earlier today. Really? You? I deserve that. Anyway, I saw the strangest duo putting around the far side of the valley. One was tall and quiet, one short and babbling. They had stopped to inspect some beastly carcass. This had you written all over it. I deserve that. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watch those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistle by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling? What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you play its game. Another time. Let's see what we find up here. You too, Z. Should you find any data discs from my day, I'd be happy to decrypt them for you. I imagine there are many that remain lost on Kobo. We'll let you know if we do. Oh, Cal, it's delightful to see you fully intact. Holding up okay? Fine, thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. But once more, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. I appreciate the thought, see, but we should watch the whole Noble Knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. Good luck tracking down those leads, and please, do let me know if you find anything. How may I serve? Take care, my friend. Scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks at the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't. So I'm glad you're around. Uh, let's chat later. This place could use some greenery. I wonder if I could find someone to help.
Come take a look. Well, take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries inside of the outer realm. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. You hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. I don't see what all the fuss is about with that droid. I think she's talking about Z. It's like that's all people want to talk about. A droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, let, let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors in the book. Like what? Once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. Fifty credits a pop. Sounds like fun. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Ah, uh, not fun. See, stuff that's new is exciting, sure, but what really counts is consistency, reliability. Ah, you got a keen eye for good product. That right. Yep, but you know, the product, that's only part of the sale. You're also buying what's behind it. What do you mean? Well, every item has a story. One that carries from owner to owner. The history persists embedded inside every object. You can find it in a chip cup or a greasy handprint on a towel, even. They all remind you that someone was here once. Yeah, I see what you're saying. See anything you like. Yeah, some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? Need to slice this. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Time to ride, buddy. Well, hey there, traveler. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. <laughs> There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. BD1. Babatable mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. You know, yeah. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so called tank. You wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief for gold. Give me a second. <laughs> we'll get around faster now. Oh, 
up! Time to go. You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Easy, Neko. Hello there. to center myself. <laughs> 